What up everybody, this is Carlos, the Texas Squeegee, and I'm back. Now today, we are going over paint protection film, which is designed to protect your car against UV damage, rock chips, pretty much everyday wear, scratch, and tear. Now the purpose of this video is that we are gonna go over two different products four years after they have been installed. So let's get tintified. Squeegee that. Poor quality paint protection film is made with poor quality materials, which over time get hazy, yellow, brittle, and causes you to replace it much more frequently. Good quality paint protection film is made with higher grade materials, which last a lot longer, causing you to replace it much less frequently. Here's the difference between two PPFs four years after it's been installed. The good PPF versus the bad. This is a Toyota RAV4 that I installed four years ago using an experimental PPF product. Now, if you see this right here, it's completely lost its glossiness. It's no longer glossy at all, and this part right here lifted up over time, and the sun made it brittle, which eventually broke off. Now, this was installed using a partial front package, which you can see the difference between the painted section and then the section that has a paint protection film over it. Now, you know how headlights are supposed to stay clear when you put this product on there? This one right here didn't stay clear at all. It's got bubbling, hazing, and it's yellowing. Everything that it was designed to protect against, this product did not last very long at all. Now, contrary to that, let's go to the other one. This has been on here for about the same amount of time, but the story is completely different. Now, this car, about four years ago, received a full front protection package, but as you can see, the difference is crystal clear. See the hood right here? It's got all the glossiness that it came with it when it was first new. Now these headlights are still crystal clear since the moment that it got installed. Full front bumper also has it and the full front fenders has the same protection as well. Now even though this film has been on here well preserved for four years, it's already shown signs that it's done its job in certain key areas. For example, here's this rock chip right here. Now this is a rock chip that hit the car and bounced off, causing damage on the paint protection film, but not the paint itself. And the reason why it looks black like this is as it pierced the film, dirt gets underneath it, but the paint itself stays preserved. Now you remember the other headlight that got yellow and hazy? Well, this one stayed well preserved because in the certain areas that the paint protection film wasn't over, you could see where it started to get yellow and hazy, which naturally happens because the UV breaks down the plastics and makes them get brittle and hazy over time. Paint protection film prevents that. Now, I've shown you a rock chip over PPF, but this is a rock chip without PPF. And as you can see, the rock chip that hit it went down into the metal and over time, being exposed to the outdoor elements got rusty. It is much easier to repair a paint protection film than it is to repair something like this. So if you wanna get the good stuff and avoid the cheap stuff, here's a little secret. Manufacturers and suppliers' confidence in their own products reflects in the warranty policies. So next time that you're out shopping, make sure you shop value, not price. Squeegee that.